This is the story of Tattletale, a game that had millions of eyes on it half a month after its release. A game every big YouTube gamer played. A game with hundreds of videos, songs, theories, and other things. Before it disappeared off the face of the earth sometime in late 2017, this video is going to be an in-depth analysis of the video game and what every night, day, and alternate dimension has in store. Tattletale was developed by Waygetter Electronics, a fictional in-universe company that manufactures children's toys. Releasing on December 28th, 2016, The Little Purple Rascal was an instant hit, thanks largely in part to the mass of gaming YouTubers that flocked to it. Tattletale was what I'd refer to today as mascot horror, a phrase I believe was coined by another YouTuber named Pastra. Mascot horror is a subgenre of horror characterized by its recognizable faces, deep and obnoxiously convoluted stories, and usually has a childlike aesthetic. This type of horror came to be as popular as it is today thanks to FNAF, which, come on, you know what FNAF is. If everybody that watched Markiplier's first upload made a country, it would be the 14th largest com country in the world. These games tend to range from mid, or not even scary, to awful, obnoxious cash grabs. Some of which got too ambitious with the scope, and some are just laughably bad. Oh, Pila Bird, don't come. But something sets Tattletail apart from the rest. Not only do I actually enjoy playing it, but Tattletail played a huge part in the establishment of mascot horror as a genre, or subgenre. <clears throat> Tattletail proved that FNAF's success wasn't a huge coincidence, and there was a formula that you could follow to replicate it, and people were beginning to catch on. That is why I think Tattletale is one of the most important titles in indie horror history. The game takes place during the Christmas season, 1998, with plenty of stylistic choices that nod towards this, including a VHS overlay, landline phones, and those old tube TVs that weighed like 900 pounds. It begins December 20th in the player's bedroom. You are tiny, you jump high, and are an obnoxious little runt that wants to spoil Christmas for themselves. Your directions here are simple. Go to the basement and unwrap your gift early. Right before this recording session, I saw a video that is Dr. Klein singing in the end, and I really was not prepared for my day to peak that early, so I'm still kind of buzzing off of that. Now this first night is easy. Go meet your new friend Tattletail. Me, Tattletail. Me, love you. I love this guy. Tattletail is a little purple egg monster with a plastic face. As you can tell, Tattletail takes clear inspiration from Furbies. Furbies are talking toys developed by Tiger Electronics and revealed in 1998. Notice any similarities? The developers wanted to captivate the somewhat uncanny vibe that Furbies generate with Tattletail. And honestly, I think real life Furbies are scarier than the horror game one, but I give them props for trying. I know that's a hard hurdle to clear. Tattletail can dance, sing, look around, and give your position away via incessant complaining. All right, I'm dead. It's over. He's a funky little man with tons of funny and memorable voice lines. He always has something to say about the current situation. Tattletail has three basic needs to be kept up and they are shown in the top left corner of the screen, them being battery, feed, and groom. From the moment you first take him out of the box, he'll be hungry. Happy Thank you, Tattletail. For some reason, the employees at Waygetter Electronics thought he should eat human food. Grab some food from ketchup. Jump on top of the stove. Is that a treat? Oh, fridge. Sorry, I'm illiterate. After feeding him out of the fridge, he then wants to be brushed using the brush on the sofa in the living room. After feeding him, the first relatively sinister event happens. The lights cut out and you'll hear a loud audio stinger. To the roof and then just... On the way back to bed, the phone will ring, but you're an alpha male slash female. That doesn't take no for an answer. Hint, don't answer the phone. All right. Hello? Wrong number. 
When answered, you'll hear an old coffee machine, or as the game later gaslights you into thinking, a grinding noise. This is the noise Mama Tattletail makes f when searching for you. More on her later. Oh, and by the way, the front door is wide open. Let's dwell less on the implications of a door wide open in the middle of the night and more on this. Yeah, you're not supposed to be up here. Okay, so what you want, want to do, I think, is stand here, then jump to there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, ha, uh... Interesting. I don't want any. Sorry, Tattletail. I'm leaving. So long. Huh. It's crazy how I peeked this early into the recording session. Oh. And... Whoa. So, uh... How you guys doing? I would have expected the game to have ended by now. So I'm assuming that something is terribly, horribly wrong. It is completely within the realm of possibility to softlock yourself on the very first night. Well, while I'm here... <clears throat> hey everyone, we're just about to hit 100 subscribers. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be... So, I'm gonna restart. So after restarting the entire night, I do my best speedrun strats in order to quickly get to night 2. Before getting into night 2, however, I want to talk about eggs. Eggs are collectibles, hidden around the house. You need all 22 to get the good ending. Night 1's eggs are, next to Tattletail's present, in the open front door, and on your nightstand. You wake up to a faint clunking sound and are attached to find out what it's making it. As long as you aren't blinded by the world's brightest kitchen sink, you should be able to track down the source of the noise. That being Tattletail, who somehow trapped himself in the washing machine and turned it on. Alright, show me the little man. <laughs> uh. I love this guy. He wants to break a vase for fun, which, of course, and things unsurprisingly take a dark turn, requiring you to grab the flashlight before proceeding. Place in the hole. What is any of this? Yo! Right after this, the lights are gonna go dark, and then I'm gonna grab that flashlight, and everything's gonna be horrible. And the door closed itself. Task, oh no. Immediately after this, you get your first glimpse at Mama Tattletail. She's found you, she's found him, and she's about to make your life a living nightmare. The player learns the name of the antagonist when Tattletail says Mama's scary before packing him away. Or at least, he would have said this if I didn't put him away too quickly. Mama, Mama what? Mama what? Mama what? Tell me! Tell me, you little- Egg locations for the second night are in front of the washing machine, on top of a dryer, and where Mama stood. Me tail. This time, I'm not taking chances. Are you gonna ring? The phone is supposed to ring every night after tucking Tattletail away, but it didn't for me, so... Mama. Mama, there's a scary red-eyed monster. Egg's in here? Egg is definitely in the bathtub. Nope, I was wrong. Also, how old am I? Because I can barely... I can't even look into the sink. Is Tattletail even real? Or is Mama even real? Or is this just some crazy hallucination sort of thing? Uh given to me by astrology. You are awoken by a mysterious grinding noise. It's a hard video game, what? Oh. 
Downstairs, you see a trail of eggs leading to a room in the basement. In that room is Mama Tattletail sitting in the corner. Hmm. I can recognize a trail when I see a trail. When you see her, you're tasked to load a cassette tape into her. Mama Tattletail is significantly larger than Tattletail, and her original function was to play cassette tapes. She was banned for unknown reasons, though I'd wager those reasons are somewhat murdery in nature. Alright, begin the horror video game. The children thought that Mama would never find them as long as she couldn't see them. I think it might be too loud. It's not letting me. Oh, right mouse button. I am a fool. Little feet led Mama right to them. Turn the page. Then Mama found the children, every last one, and put them right back to bed. Mama's cassette tapes gives you a very important lesson. If you make toys, you die. Anything that makes the yellow megaphone icon pop up in the top right corner can unalive you. Running? Bad. Shaking your light? Bad. Tattletail? Very bad. After listening to Mama's story, you can find Tattletail giggling to himself on a pile of junk. Look at the little guy. Look at the little bastard making a mess. A mess. When you pick him up, he asks you to see Mama. Show you mama? Of course, she's totally still there. But shocker, mama is no longer there. Oh no, mama's not there! Anytime the lights go off from now on can end in your untimely demise. Case in point. I think cleaning up mess makes a noise though. Alright. It's fine. It's not like you're going to have a little buddy that's constantly babbling in your hands. The eggs of tonight are in the trail leading to Mama and where Mama was after she disappeared. This night will be a test of survival. Outside in the garage is your tattletale as well as a yellow tattletale named Butternut. Before proceeding, however, I'd like to let you know that I broke the game again. This time with Tattletail. So this is what the speed run that I saw did. It jumped up there. Wow, I actually got it. Oh. We know what you did. Shut up, Tattletail. Don't tell on me. I took this opportunity to explore the map. Yeah, I'll jump down. Hopefully I didn't just softlock myself. Was this... It almost feels like some of this is supposed to be playable. But then again, I see that and, well... Tiles Hill, what happens if I leap into the void? Uh... For content! That was anticlimactic. Oh no, he's gonna be... His food meter is so low, he's gonna be complaining as I run away. Eventually, though, I took the plunge, much to Tattletail's dismay. We're almost there, Tattletail. We're almost to the promised land. Alright, end of the game. Oh, you stopped talking. Why did you do this? What? <laughs> Tattle Taylor, are you okay? So, uh, oh! We did it! That's right. If you jump into the abyss with Tattletail, he disses you and the game ends. Yup. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, I beat the game. Uh, how was that? At least when I got back, I had the chance to listen to Tattletail converse with his little friend. They want to play hide and seek. When you're the hider, Mama hunts you down for 30 seconds straight, and when you're the seeker, you search for Butternut. 
You're tasked to hide 30 seconds the first round, one minute the second round, and a minute and 30 seconds the third and final round. In the bedroom. Okay. Bye bye. Correct. With Tattletail in tow, it could be a challenge, but let's just say I had a few tricks up my sleeve. What's Mama gonna do? What's Mama gonna do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fortunately, Butternut is not the best hider. I'd also like to note this terrifying moment when Mama blocked my path to the recharge station. This boy needs a charge. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, guys, this is when it ends. Oh. Just as I was about to play lame, the last place Butternut hides is in the basement, in the same place you found Mama yesterday. In front of him is a VHS. But before we play the VHS, let's talk eggs. In funny games, there's an egg on the kitchen counter, in all of Butternut's former hiding spots, and in front of Butternut's final hiding spot. The VHS, dubbed Video Horror System in the level select, gives you a strange behind the scenes or found footage kind of look into the Tattletale commercial. There are two completely still bodies as well as a body writhing in pain in one of the cameras. There's also a handful of secrets that we'll touch on later, but for now, on to Christmas Eve. Wake up! <laughs> oh, Tattletail, you and your lack of subtlety. On the night of Christmas Eve, Tattletail wakes the player up in the most obnoxious yet endearing way possible. Downstairs is a gathering of Butternut, the Yellow Tattletail, and Dewdrop, the Cyan Tattletail, and yes, you better pay attention because getting on a first name basis with these guys is critical on Maslow's hierarchy of human needs. Butternut and Dewdrop want you to go and find two more Tattletail to join the party. She is very close. And by very close, I mean she's right there. Hi, Mama. Cool. You're in big trouble. I'm aware. Mama's I am aware of that as well. I get it. I get it. I know. Shut up. You don't shut up, she is. Oh, jeez. Okay. I just gone over this clip, and I just want to bring attention to how good the sound design of Tattletail is. Like, sound design in games is incredibly underrated. Obviously, good sound design isn't going to make a bad game good. But if a good game has good sound design, it's, it becomes one of the best. Tattletale does a phenomenal job in the sound design department. Anyways, back to the video. I love these guys and their ominous words and silly facial expressions. They also task you to go get Christmas lights, candles, and cupcakes. But my original recording got cut short and the footage was lost because I ran out of storage. Hi everybody! You're never gonna realize who just messed up the recording because they thought they had more storage space. Uh, luckily some of the storage, or some of the footage was saved, but yeah, right now there's a seance happening. And I'm in pitch dark, I completely forgot everything that happened up to this point. So, enjoy, and at Mama's camping. Hi Mama. Move that way, please. If you could just turn around and you know, over there. There's just in the other room they're having 
Cupcakes? Do you like cupcakes? The Tattletales have had enough of Mama and want to banish her, but she's a spiteful demon Furby and doesn't want to get banished. She hides the candles in vases, wanting you to go break them so she can catch you. So how's it going? This is definitely the least safe vase to break. When you've gathered all the candles, return them, light them, and observe. Alright, we good. We good. Mama, sit there and watch this. Watch me do it. Watch me banish you to the Shadow Realm, Mama. Watch me melt the plastic off of your children's faces. You seeing this, Mama? I want you to be in- <laughs> She's turned around backwards. And when you're ready, destroy the tape. Let's banish Mama. Congratulations, you did it. Probably. The Christmas Eve eggs are on the toilet, in the doghouse, in the bush near the garage, and outside mom's room, but only after the seance. Finally, the day has come. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all coming to a close. The world is beautiful. You already know what I'm about to do. Is it not letting me? Alright, well, what I'm about to attempt anyways. Under the tree is your best friend. One who's been through it all with you. Over the fireplace is a stocking containing the final egg. Wrapping up the egg hunt. A cupcake wrapper. Let's hope you got them all. Ma, Pa, and me. Alright, well, that's the end of that. Let's see if I got all the eggs or not. If I didn't, I die. I didn't get all the eggs. Fun! Yeah, so apparently I was missing the doghouse egg on Christmas Eve. And because I missed an egg, the seance didn't work and Mama finally game ended me. You unlocked the kaleidoscope. Access the new chapter from the main menu. I'm missing one. Numero uno. That's how many I'm missing. Two hours later. <sighs> yes. As you can probably tell, I am just as pissed as you think I am. But if you didn't get all the eggs, you'll get a nice surprise. Aww. Accept Tattletail's gifts. Is it friendship? No. Oh. One thing I find odd is the wording here. Why does it say it was given to him at birth? It implies that they give birth, lay eggs, and have a digestive system. You and Tattletail are now free from Mama. The horror has ended, and you can now finally begin your lives as friends. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Thank you, Tattletail. At least until May 9th, 2017, when the DLC drops. The Kaleidoscope expansion gives you a, a more in-depth look into the surreal side of the world of Tattletale. It also explains some of the lore behind Tattletale while simultaneously presenting like 90 more questions that are to be forever unanswered. The Kaleidoscope campaign begins on Christmas Day, where you unwrapped an extremely apathetic, green-eyed Tattletale. Tattletale, it's me. 
He teaches you some amazing facts, such as... 2 plus 2 is a math problem. Water can be found in the world ocean. When a bee uses its stinger, it hurts. Food is a source of vitamins. A cloud is getting round. In the middle of your awesome fact learning session, you'll receive a package by someone who was lost in the kaleidoscope. More on this later. And yes, I know I say that constantly, but I want to talk about things as they happen in the story, so just bear with me. Uh, something drone. Tattletail wasn't like this. This isn't how it happened at all. Stay calm, just try to remember. What happened the night before Christmas? It takes you on a trip through the reverse order of the game, only this time around Mama is... nice. Dewdrop is on the table apologizing to Butternut. Butternut is forgiving him. And Mama is behind them in an uncharacteristically non-bloodthirsty demeanor. All is forgiven. All well, but ends well. You ain't. Wow. Me sorry. Me forgive you. The real gift egg. Family. So obviously this is different from the Christmas Eve you've experienced. Your Christmas Eve was filled with paranoia, bloodshed, and paranormal activity. After letting Tattletail join, he tells a boring fact, and they all vanish, a letter taking their place. This is definitely wrong. Mama Tattletail wasn't nice. She was banned, right? Okay, don't panic. Your memories are just mixed up. Not trying to scare you, but if you can't remember how things really happened, Tattletail will be weird and boring forever. But seriously, don't panic. Just go back another night. The other repeated nights are similar where Mama is nice and nothing really happens. But I do want to include them here because they have some funny stuff. Two days before Christmas is normally when we play hide and seek. But this time we have Butternut crying to Mama about his lost egg. While Dewdrop is giggling to himself in the garage about how he stole an egg. Listen, I know it's hard for me not to do it again, but do you guys really want to watch this a seventh time? <laughs> I love him so much! You little rascal. Uh-oh, your memories are becoming weirdly, um, cute. Look, memories are like VHS tapes. Every time you play them, they get a little fuzzier. Worse yet, with the right trigger, someone can record over them. I think somebody recorded over Christmas 1998. Three days before Christmas is the same day where you originally met Mama. And this time you can find her gifting butternut and Dewdrop eggs. Dewdrop accidentally broke his. What do you have to say about this? Boring telltale. We know what you did. The weather outside is cold. Gold flashlight? Yo. If you didn't get the good ending, then you don't get the gold flashlight. Tell a joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Bananas are a good sport. Go for Ha 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 ha. What's your fascination with catch out? Okay, this is all wrong. Someone has tampered with this memory too. There is a place you can find what's changing your memory, but it's really dangerous. It's called the kaleidoscope. We're going to avoid it at all, at all costs. Four days before Christmas is the same day that you found Tattletail in the washing machine. In the same exact place that you broke a vase on the second night, you can find Mama, Butternut, and Dewdrop next to a repaired vase 
with band-aids all over it. They seem extremely proud of themselves. We fixed it! Me help too! Thank you! You'll get me tomorrow! Oh boy, we have one last chance to get things right. Tattletail still isn't normal on December 20th, you may have to use the kaleidoscope. It's where all memories are stored. One on top of the other, good and bad, real and imagined. You might find what you're looking for, but there's a price. The more time you spend down there, the more things will change forever. The worst part is I can't even promise it will work. Notice the secret story of the kaleidoscope. Four days before Christmas, Butternut and Dewdrop repair a vase. Three days before Christmas, Mama rewards Butternut and Dewdrop each with an egg, but Dewdrop broke his. Two days before Christmas, Butternut is crying to Mama about his lost egg, while Dewdrop giggles to himself in the garage. Christmas Eve, there's a tea party going on where Dewdrop is apologizing to Butternut, and Tattletail says, Coincidence? In 2019, five days before Christmas is the day we met Tattletail. What's that? <laughs> uh, some of the bush textures from outside are clipping through the ceiling. When you have Tattletail in hand, you'll receive a package telling you to go into the kaleidoscope. You can't remember anything about Tattletail before this night, can you? Dang. Okay, here are your options. You can go through that door and visit the kaleidoscope. You might find whatever changed your memories and bring back what really happened Christmas 1998. Or, you can go back to bed. Your memory of Tattletail will be boring forever. But hey, you won't remember how scary Mama Tattletail really was either. So maybe it's not so bad. The door is dangerous. The bed is cold. I'm just glad I don't have to pick this time. Heh. Love, what is that? Th who are you? In the wall is an extremely long and dark staircase. Though it doesn't seem that way when you fall out of the map. The kaleidoscope is a cold, strange place symbolizing fading memories. Or at least that's what I think. The longer you live, the more fractured and contorted your memories get. Tattletail does not seem the slightest bit impressed by the change in scenery. No fact available. Down here are a lot of unique things, such as a black and white Tattletail, both missing their way drives. Also, what is this? Memory trigger prime for suggestion? Were we brainwashed? by Waygetter or Mama or something? Or was Tattletail brainwashed? I know boring Tattletail has the same triangle pizza slice in his eye that regular Tattletail doesn't have. Why did you do this? Just food for thought, I guess. You may have noticed at this point that Tattletail's needs bar has once again popped up in the top left corner. And yes, that means that you are in at least a little bit of danger, but right now you're not gonna die. Mama stands in the middle of the kitchen, deactivated. A little further, you can find a cassette tape that can be played by her. Hi, Mama. You're not just an employee. You're a new member of the Waygetter fan. Each tattletale contains a special device called a Waydrive. The Waydrive gives our toys their unique personality. How does the Waydrive work? It's a family secret. Okay, so the way drive is what gives... Shut up, Tattletail. So the way drive is what gives them their personality or soul. So, could it be a case where, as I'm scared put it, they turn an entity into data? Like, did they m mush a child's brain into a... I don't know put it in some tank and then had all the data stored on it, transferred into a drive of some kind. Weird. The further oh, you go down into uh, the kaleidoscope, the safe. more twisted it gets, ending in a hallway with a VHS at the end. I knew it. This tape is the reason your memories have been rewritten. If you watch it, it's power over you will be destroyed. Just hope nothing else gets messed up in the process. Baby talking tattle Yo. Yo. Banger. Banger alert. 
you go when mama's there. She's your best friend. She was never banned. Oh. Baby talking tattle. Good baby job, mama. Tattle, baby talking tattle. Baby talking tattle. Baby talking this feels like a post. Yeah, it definitely is. So anyways, you try again to remember what Tattletale was like five days before Christmas, and surprisingly... Yo! It is the first night from the original game. After replaying the first night, Tattletale stops you in the basement, telling you a knock-knock joke. Who's there? Orange. Orange, you glad I said banana? Uh oh. Orange, you for getting someone! This jump scare is phenomenal. I'm being completely honest when I'm saying this is my favorite jump scare ever made. The greatest jump ever scared. This entire DLC has been completely calm leading up to this moment. Just to hit you with. Orange. And up to this point, Mama Tattletail has never expressed any emotion of her own prior to this point that doesn't feel flat or pre-recorded. Her anger in this is fierce. She seems so bitter and direct towards you. You know she's murdered people. You know she's been around the block. She's stabbed a couple people. But this? It seems like she is genuinely furious at you for what you've done to her. Or I guess what you and Tattletail have done to her. This is the first time where Mama Tattletail is absolutely furious. And to say this jump scare blows the other ones out of the water would be an understatement. Now with that being said, enjoy my escape from the kaleidoscope. Right? I remember this being obnoxiously hard. Alright, I'm dead. It's over. Okay. Don't skip out on Tattletail's needs while we're roaming the kaleidoscope. You're not just an employee. You're a new member of the Waygetter family. Each Tattletail contains a special device called a Waydrive. Is it the same? The Waydrive gives them Okay, I'm dead again. Come on, brush! Brush fast! Okay, we good. Don't care, Mom. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I don't care. IDC. Tattletail, shut up! I'm trying to listen to Mama! And when all is said and done, we return to our home safe. Christmas Day. After unsuccessfully attempting to mantle my way onto the house, I unwrapped my little purple friend, and also one last mysterious note. But not before, once again, unsuccessfully mantling up onto the house. Wow, I'm impressed. You did a lot better than I did. Hopefully your memories didn't get too mixed up there. Never hurts to check if anything has changed. Say hi to Tattletale for me. Until next time. Until next what? They set up so much to get explored later and they just never did. Hi, well, hi Tattletail. Right, what you gotta say? Who's there? Me. Me who? <laughs> that was the kaleidoscope make of it what you will my theory my current headcanon is that the protagonist has dementia and he's overdosed on his medication for it and by extension that was tattletale all of it every single little bit of media for tattletale which i find incredibly unfortunate because they just never did anything with it. I don't know what kind of world I live in where I want this 
developer to sell out. But if any of these, you know, horror games for kids, mascot horror, whatever you want to call it, if any of those IPs were to sell out and make a bunch of spin-offs that are mediocre in quality, but at least keep the thing alive, I would want it to be Tattletale because I love that dude. I don't know if they ever really intended to expand beyond just the game and its expansion, but while there may be no Tattletale 2 or any more expansions or whatnot in the future, that's fine. They kept their scope small, they delivered a simple, charming horror game, and we should just be happy about that. Who is Mama? Why does she kill? What happened to your family? What was the seance? Are there people in each Tattletale? What was Waygetter trying to do? And so many other questions that I can't list here because this is a very long run-on sentence and I'm probably running out of breath. We'll never know. Tattletale was a gift that appeared almost as quickly as it went. It was popular, but it wasn't an icon of horror. It accomplished what it set out to do. So hats off to you, Tattletale. Good job. And I'd like to commemorate Waygetter Electronics, the developer, not the in-game company, for developing Tattletale. You made an awesome game that will be remembered for a very long time. At least, as long as I remember my Steam account password. But wait, there's more. We still haven't gone over the secrets yet. Like many lore-heavy indie horror games, Tattletale is stuffed with secrets, so let me read some off of the Tattletale wiki because I didn't find them myself. I'll start with Missing Family. The player's double bed, as well as some pictures around the house, will suggest a brother or a sister. There's also a cat, a dog, and a father that are implied but are never directly seen or mentioned. The wiki is trying to tell me that everyone's dead and you were raised by a single mother, but the three cupcakes on the table tell me that there's at least one other human in the house, unless the third cupcake is for Tattletail. During hide and seek, if you knock on mom's door, on the third time that mama seeks you, the door will actually open. You won't see much because, well. Most nights after wrapping up Tattletail, the phone will ring and uh, when answered, you'll hear Mama's signature grinding noise. But on Christmas Eve, when Mama has been seanced to oblivion, you'll instead hear a phone announcer. This is wish you and your family the best this holiday season. And a happy new call 1-800- Happy holiday. Also, this guy's name is Douglas. Narration jump scare. Hello to the three troopers that are still clicked on to the 44 minute long video. I hope you enjoyed my first big project on this channel. The reason why I made this video is because I think Tattletale is one of the lesser appreciated mascot or indie horror games out there. And that sucks because Tattletale has so much heart and passion put into it. And on a side note, I, looking back to this video, I don't really know what to call it. At first I thought it was going to be a in-depth analysis, and it is that, but it's also a walkthrough and a let's play at the same time. I'll call it a, I'll call it a tribute. Yeah, tribute sounds good. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I'm going to be making a lot more of these bigger videos while I'm making my usual content, so if you like this, then subscribe, stick around. And that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Baby talking tattletale, and then you'll hear him say, <laughs> You can feed him treats, he really eats. Baby talking tattletale, he can tell when mama's there.
She's your best friend. She was never banned. Baby talking tattle, 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 baby talking tattle.